Hi y'all. Everybody just left for spring break and I'm here making a video about plants just for you. Okay. We're going to talk about tropisms. Okay. So, woof. I wonder if there's anything that anyone can do about the blurriness of my camera. Okay. So, put your name on it. Today's date is this is the day I'm recording it. This is not the day that you're writing this down. And the topic is tropisms. Okay. So keep this out. Um, I'm going to go through a slideshow and then um, you're going to summarize at the bottom. Okay. And I know that we did a lot about flowers today too. Um, and there aren't really any notes about flowers, but it's all labeling. And you're doing a lot of that like on your computer digitally. So <clears throat> there is plenty of stuff there. You also have your notes from like the gizmo. Um, so you do have stuff, it's just not Cornell notes. Okay, okay. Let's see. Okay. Tropisms. What? Write this down. This is how plants respond to their environments. Okay. You know, we always say, oh, animals move. Plants don't move. That's a big difference between us. They do move. Remember I told y'all I had an issue with that? They do move. Um, they move in a different way than we do, but they absolutely move. Okay, so we're going to cover these four kinds of tropisms. Gravitropism, phototropism, figmotropism, and hydrotropism. Okay? Pretty cool words, huh? Okay, gravitropism is a plant's response to gravity, right? They can't get away from the gravity on earth um, and they all grow a certain way because of that. And we know that because when you put a plant a different way, like against gravity, it'll grow the correct way. Um, okay. The roots will always grow down into the soil and the shoots will always grow up towards the light. That happens to little seeds when they are first being um, germinated, the roots kind of start out and they start going down and then the shoots start going up. If you turn a plant over on its side, it's going to start growing like this. Okay. It, that is a real thing. Um, I like to think of it as it happens most often with seeds, like germinating seeds. Cause you know, when you plant a seed or when a seed falls on the ground, you don't know like which way is up, like what way the root is going to come out and what way the leaf is going to come out, right? It just happens. So even if it's upside down, the root will still go down and the shoot will still go up, which is pretty cool. Phototropism is a plant's response to light, right? They need light for their photosynthesis. So they're going to grow towards it. Um, they do this because the more light they have, the more glucose they can make. Y'all remember our friend glucose? And if they don't have light, then they need to find some or they will die. Okay. Here is a picture of a plant growing towards the window. You guys have probably all seen this happen, like with a house plant. Um, pretty cool. Uh, also, this is an experiment that you can do where you have a little plant and you make like a little apparatus for it. Um, and it will grow up towards the light, right? It will kind of go around these little shelves and grow towards the light. It's pretty cool. Figmotropism is a plant's response to touch or physical contact. Um, climbing plants will do this. They have like these coil-like tendrils like this right here. Um, these are really pretty too. Pumpkins do this. Um, 
a lot of other things do. I'm not much of a gardener, but I know pumpkins do it. They will kind of bend and turn. And as soon as they find something that they can climb that will support them, they'll start coiling around it. Hold on a second. Hydrotropism is a plant's response to water. Of course, that's another thing that plants need. Um, and they will grow towards moist soils, right? Which is kind of cool. Like if you have a drought condition, like we often do here in Austin, you will see um, them grow like this. Also, if you have like an, something in a pot and the pot's real dry and there's water outside the pot, you'll see them kind of grow out the bottom of the pot. So you can see here, here are the roots. This soil is real dry, but there's a water source over here. So it grows towards that. Um, this is another uh, experiment that you can do where you can put water in a clay pot and the root of a plant will grow towards the moist soil. And up here, this is an interesting picture that kept coming up when I was looking for pictures for this. Here's a lake or a, I don't know, a creek or something. And they have, uh, there's no grass here, but there's grass over here, right? And the grass knows that that's where the water is. So look at all these roots it's sending out. So that's pretty cool. Okay, and what we need to know is that tropisms are caused by hormones. And it's usually this hormone that you hear about is called auxin. They have hormones just like we do and they control how much they grow. And so what happens here is it grows faster on one side and slower on the other side, and it makes the plant kind of, you know, go bend, okay? And it's just caused by this thing called auxin. Um, and it's really cool. That's what causes all of these things. The auxin knows where the water is, where the sun is, which way gravity goes, I don't know how they know it. They sure are quiet about it. Um, so that's all I think. Yeah, yay. Tropisms are pretty easy and you are done with them. There's gonna be a quick check after this and I'm sure you're gonna make a hundred. I really hope you do.